Hi everyone, Vanessa here. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're talking about the best known destination in Jamaica, Montego Bay, and all the great things there are to do in the area, far more than you'd imagine. Unfortunately, as soon as guests land, they get whisked away to their all-inclusive resort and don't usually leave to explore all the area has to offer. So I've ranked some of my favorite sites, and you don't have to agree with my rankings, it's just my preferences, but I think there's something for everyone on this list of the top 10 things to do in Montego Bay. We'll begin the countdown with Croydon Plantation. Nestled right in the foothills of the Catadupa Mountains, Croydon is a 132-acre working plantation with beautiful views of the countryside. The plantation grows coffee, pineapples, plantains, and citrus fruits, as well as honey. And during the tour, you'll learn all about these crops and even get to sample some of the produce and sip on yummy drinks made from the plantation's fresh fruit as you stroll around the lovely grounds. And then after your tour, you get a delicious barbecue lunch finished with Jamaican Blue Mountain coffee. So a lot of eating and drinking on this tour, but I also love the history of it. You'll learn a lot and it's just a really lovely way to spend a day in Montego Bay. ATV Off-Road Sandy Bay Adventure. For the adrenaline-seeking junkies out there, you'll get an exciting two-hour ride on an ATV leaving from a safari ranch in Montego Bay, and you'll get an up-close look at Jamaica's countryside, splashing through puddles and passing farms and fruit groves, and then complete the day with a delicious lunch and drinks back at the ranch. If you aren't comfortable driving, you can be a passenger on the dune buggy, which was my preference, but the guides are very good at keeping a fun and steady pace, so you'll have a good mix of thrills with some slower moments where you can just take in the surrounding beauty. Hip Strip Margaritaville. If you're a party lover and looking for a good time in Montego Bay, be sure to check out the Hip Strip, which is where all the good bars are. There are several all-inclusives in the area, a few public beaches that charge a few dollars for a day pass, so it's definitely a tourist spot with shops, bars, and nightclubs lining the street. And the most well-known spot is Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville, which has become a staple and must stop for cocktails and fun. And while you'll find Margaritavilles throughout the Caribbean, the ones in Jamaica have jungle gyms in the water, so adults can have a blast playing on the slides and trampolines, especially after a few drinks. <laughs> Montego Bay Cultural Center. I had made note of this in case of a rainy day as it's the perfect rainy day activity, but I'd honestly recommend it no matter what the weather's like. It's truly one of the best museums in Jamaica, housed in a Georgian style building and serving as the only museum in Western Jamaica that shares the history of slavery, plantation economy, and the history of the resistance of the mid 1800s. And art lovers will appreciate the fact that a branch of Kingston's National Art Gallery, the National Gallery West, is located on site in a small one-room exhibit where guests can appreciate Jamaican art. So all in all, a very complete attraction filled with history, education, and art. You won't regret checking it out. Doctor's Cave Beach. When you arrive at this must-see spot, you'll be greeted by a white sand beach and calm blue waters which are believed to have healing properties, so much so that since the early 1920s, the beach has lured visitors from around the world to seek its waters out. Today, the beach is as popular as ever, especially with cruise ship passengers, making it the most famous of all Montego Bay's beaches, so beware of that. But it's a very popular snorkeling spot, and you can even rent beach equipment here, as well as have changing rooms, restaurants, and gift shops. And you're right in the center of the Strip, so great location, and truly one of the best beaches in Jamaica and even the Caribbean. So if you're a beach lover, be sure to make a day of it. Sail from Montego Bay to Negril. If you're looking for a quintessential island excursion, look no further than the Island Dreamer Catamaran Cruise from Montego Bay to Negril, where you'll get a great look at the scenic coastline, and before heading back, you'll stop at Rick's Cafe, which is of course one of the most popular bars on the island, and get to watch the world-famous cliff divers. And once you've had your fill of swimming, snorkeling, and exploring, you can enjoy free drinks all the way back to Montego Bay while gazing at the breathtaking sunsets. So you get a lot of enjoyment out of this one, a lot of local experiences, and it's just a whole lot of fun. 
Rastafari Indigenous Village. Now, let me preface this one by saying, usually I'm hesitant about cultural tourism. I worry if locals are being exploited, or is the history being watered down, or maybe even dramatized to draw more tourists, all those things. I'm sure you guys can relate. But I have to say the Rastafari Village in Montego Bay does a great job of explaining the history and realities of the Rastafarian religion, which is one of the most misunderstood ones in the world. This two-hour tour takes you through a wooden village, which includes a drumming circle and medicinal garden, and throughout the tour you'll learn all about the history and beliefs and even modern-day Rasta, so that visitors won't walk away from the usual cliches and stereotypes, which is quite honestly a very refreshing change. So check it out for a whole new perspective that will pleasantly surprise you. River tubing on the Great River. Montpelier Jungle Outpost sits on 2,000 acres and was formerly a sugarcane plantation. And today you can take a tour and explore its grounds in Hidden Waterfall and view the beautiful Great River, the fourth longest river in Jamaica, and take a relaxing tube ride down its waters. Now, most people do this as a combination tour with the zip lining as well, and they kind of see the river tubing as the secondary event, but I think it's underrated as you get to float along and get an up close view of the surrounding nature and landmarks. Many tour companies offer this experience, which is nice. And another tip, there are many mosquitoes. So douse yourself in bug spray, especially if you're allergic like me. <laughs> Rose Hall Great House. About 20 minutes east of Montego Bay, you can take a tour of the most famous great house in the country, Rose Hall, a former plantation house built in 1770, which saw a lot of blood and death in its day. And I won't give too much away, but learn all about the White Witch of Montego Bay, Ann Palmer, who killed four of her husbands and countless slaves during her reign of terror. The house is decorated with furnishings from the period, and you can explore the lovely gardens and beautiful pond, which makes for a great day tour. But for an even better experience, I recommend you take the haunted and spine-chilling candlelit night tour to really get the creepy sense of the property, as it's believed that Anne still walks the grounds after the slaves cursed her following her murder. I love ghost tours, so I'm a little biased, but it's hands down one of the top couple of tourist attractions in Montego Bay, so clearly it's not just me that loves this tour. <laughs> Raft the Martha Bray River. For a relaxing change of pace, you should definitely try a bamboo rafting excursion down the Martha Bray River, which leads from Martha Bray Rafting Village about 32 kilometers from Montego Bay. It's a truly peaceful and even romantic experience for couples as you'll float through old plantations and past the beautifully green scenery as your guide steers you through all the trees and rocks, telling you all about the local flora and fauna along the way. And if you're lucky, you'll get a guide who will serenade you with reggae songs as well. I can't recommend this tour enough, and as you drift down five kilometers of river, you'll see shops and bars and even rope swings along the way. So bring some money if you'd like to get out at any point to try some things out, and a little tip, wear your bathing suit in case you want to take a swim during the tour. And even though it's unlikely you'll get wet, if you have a good camera with you, I'd recommend bringing a dry bag just in case. So as you can tell from this list, Montego Bay is the tourist mecca of Jamaica with such a variety of fun and historic experiences, it's hard to do them all on the same trip. So you'll just have to go back again and again. If you found this video to be helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and please subscribe to join our travel family and don't forget to ring that bell for video notifications. This is Vanessa for Passport Pages. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye everyone.